got a question from Brittany in Kennesaw. I've never had a credit card before and I'm not sure what my credit score is. How do I get good credit and why is it important to have? A lot of people don't know what their credit score is and some even think that having a lower credit score is better than having a high credit score, which isn't true. A poor credit score is anything below 620. A fair credit score would be between 620 and 680. A good credit score is 680 to 750 and an excellent credit score is anything above 750. So this is important because your credit score is essentially your financial reputation. Um, if you have good credit, then that shows lenders that you're trustworthy and that you're financially responsible. For example, you wouldn't loan you know, money to a friend that you, knew, you know wouldn't pay you back, but these lenders, these credit card companies, they don't know you, so they use your credit scores, your financial reputation, to determine whether or not you're going to pay them back. It's also important to have good credit because it'll determine whether or not lenders give you a higher interest rate or a lower interest rate on a loan. So if you have good credit, lenders would be more likely to give you a lower interest rate because they know that you're going to pay them back. But if you have a low credit score, then lenders may not either, they may not give you a loan or if they do give you a loan, they'll give you a loan with a higher interest rate because then they'll get some more money from you because they're taking on that risk knowing that you may or may not default on your loan. You might not pay them back. Um, so it determines, you know, how high of an interest rate that they'll, you'll have on a loan that you get, or it can also determine how much of a loan that you can get. So for example, if you wanted to buy a $10,000 car and you go to apply for a loan for it, if you have really bad credit, you might only get $5,000 for from that lender to get the loan. But if you had great credit, you know they'll give you that $10,000 and they'll give you a really low interest rate because they know that you're going to pay them back. So you kind of get a reward for that. Um, it's also important not just for interest rates and you know how much of a loan you can get. It's also important because it could determine whether or not you can rent an apartment or a house if you're looking for a place to live. So most apartments or landlords will probably require a credit check before they give you a lease. So you usually have to fill out an application and then with that ap application is usually a credit check. So landlords consider this a lease when they give you a lease to be a loan because you're essentially being loaned a place to live and they want to make sure that you're going to pay them for that. So if you don't have good credit, you could get denied for applying, you know, you could get denied for a place to live. Whereas if you have good credit, they'll probably be fine with you coming and living in their house or their apartment. But this also can apply to employment. So if you don't have good credit, somebody may not hire you. Um, you know, if you and somebody else are applying for the same job and they have excellent credit and you have terrible credit, they'll probably hire that person instead of you. So it's also important to know what makes up this credit score and how to get good credit. There's five major factors that determine your credit score. Some people actually think that things like your gender or your marital status or your race could be a part of your credit score, but it's actually not. Um, the biggest thing is actually your payment history. This makes up 35% of your total credit score. Um, so lenders want to see that you're paying your credit card and you're paying on time. So if you miss just one payment, that could have a huge impact on your credit score. They want to know that you're going to make those payments and that you're going to make them every single month and that you're going to pay them um, on time and you're not going to skip them. So if you are skipping a payment, you know, they may think that you ran out of money or something happened and you're not going to be able to pay them ever. So that really has an impact on your credit score. Um, the next biggest piece of your credit score is determined by the total amount that you owe. So carrying a high balance is going to have an impact on your credit score. Uh, you really only want to use about 20% of your total credit. For example, if you have a credit card with a $5,000 limit, you should only carry up to about $1,000 a balance on that because that would be about 20%. You know, and some people think, well, oh, I'll just go open another credit card so it'll raise my limit, but really that could end up dropping your score because lenders would rather see you paying down your credit and your current debt than increasing your ability to incur more debt by raising that limit. Um, so lenders know that, you know, your payment history and how much of a balance you're carrying are making up the majority of your credit score. So if you have a bad credit score, they know they may not be as likely to trust you. And so, like I said earlier, they may not give you a loan. And if they do, it could be at a higher rate because they know they're taking on that risk that you may not pay them back. And that money could sit out there outstanding for who knows how long. The next biggest piece of your credit score is determined by the length of your credit history. Um, lenders want to see that you have a long history of paying off that credit card debt and you know, knowing that you can make those payments over a long period of time. So you know, the longer history that these lenders have to review, the better your credit score is going to be. 
So even if you, you know, have had a credit card for years and years and you run into a little bit of payment trouble and you miss one payment, if you over the long period of time continue to still make those payments on time and pay it off every month beyond that, you know, it'll increase your credit score over time still. The last two things that make up, you know, your credit score are the types of accounts that you have and then any new credit that you open. So different types of accounts being a variety of like student loans or utility bills, even uh, different credit cards, store cards, things like that. So the more variety that you have can increase your credit score. And then also the any new payment act or new credit activity can have an impact on your score. You know, every time you go to Target and they ask if you want to open a Target card and you say yes, if you end up with 20 different cards, they could see that as, oh, well, they're opening a whole bunch of new credit. Maybe they have a lot of debt or they can't pay for their things. They don't have any income. So that could lower your score. So you want to keep the number of cards that you have to a minimum. Um, you just want to make sure the ones that you do have, you keep and you keep them for a long time though. So really, if you don't have a credit card, you should go ahead and open one now so you can get that credit history started and start building your credit. Um, you could start with just putting a few easy things on it that you pay for every month already, like groceries or gas, and then just pay it off immediately to start those good habits and start you know, getting used to using it and then paying it off and not abusing your credit card. There's actually a lot of cards out there with different benefits. Um, you can get cash back or points for things that you spend, like different restaurants or gas stations or travel, things like that. So really credit cards can be used to your advantage as long as you're not abusing it and not spending more than you can't already pay for. I think that's about it. I hope that answers your question. If you have any others for us, please send them in and we'd be happy to answer them and address them for you. Thanks.